Archerfish aren't born with the ability to hit their targets. They have to practice. What does it take to train them up? Bringing home a couple of archer fish isn't something I just did one day. I worried about it a lot, for a long time. And by worry about it, I mean, I didn't think I could do it. Boring fish that stay in the water and eat flake food from an automatic dispenser? Yeah, I can do that. Amazing, jumping, water shooting, aggressive, crazy fish that need live food because in nature, they're actually predators. I wasn't sure I could handle that. Alta, my snake, is one thing. I mean, she only eats once a month. I can't be running to the pet store to buy more crickets every few days. And it was certain that my wife didn't want a cricket farm in the house. These types of concerns kept me from even attempting an archer tank for years and years. Until finally, I developed a plan freeze-dried whole shrimp, my substitute for live bugs. Let me show you what convinced me. This is regular plate food. Take a look at the ingredients. Fish meal, dried yeast, shrimp meal, ground brown rice, wheat gluten, feeding oatmeal, fish oil, potato protein, soybean oil, algae meal, sorbitol, lecithin, inulin, monocalcium phosphate, yeast extract, ascorbic acid, incitol, mason, riboflavin 5 phosphate. That's almost halfway through the list. Even this bug bites food, made from real fly larvae, has peas and potatoes in it, along with a huge list of other supplements. Now I'm not saying anything bad about all the nutrients, colors, and vitamins that go into flake food. They just don't lead me to believe that they can be a replacement for live food for a couple of predators that are used to hunting live insects. But look at this ingredient list. Shrimp. Ha! Huh, it's perfect. Armed with a can of freeze-dried shrimp to serve as regular replacement for live insects, I was ready to bring home some archers. Meet Tim and Scott. Any new fish is skittish for the first few days in a new tank, and it took a while for these guys to settle in. Tim was faster and started eating first. On day two, he was eating anything that was put in front of him including his first taste of half a shrimp. Scott, on the other hand, had me worried. He uh, wouldn't eat. We went a whole week and I never saw him eat anything. Finally, after a week and a half, I did see him eating flakes from the food shoot. The food shoot is a fun, fantastic feature of my fish tank. The refugium is a 10 gallon tank that sits on a shelf above the display tank. The wall of the refugium is drilled and the water overflows down this pipe and into the archer display tank. All you have to do is drop food into the chute and it comes out a few seconds later. This allows me to run my automatic feeder hidden away up in the refugium to feed all the fish in both locations. The fish can smell the food before it comes out and they all crowd around to try to be the first and if possible the only one to get food. So anyway, back to Scott. I needed him to eat shrimp and he wasn't interested in it at all. He would only eat flakes. What I decided to do was just break up some shrimp and put it down the food chute. That way, when Scott was down there at the front of the line waiting for his food, he got a mouthful of shrimp by accident. Now, he did spit it out the first time, but uh, after a while, he'd take chunks and eat them and keep them. Pretty soon he was eating full shrimp and enjoying it. Here's some video that I took just this morning of these guys eating. Watch Tim over on the left. It's going to be really fast. The food's going to hit and he's got it. That's how quick he is. So that's one point for Tim there. Um, he's just sitting there watching me holding the tweezers out of the frame, waiting for the food to drop. That's why he's so fast. Now he wasn't paying attention, so Scott's going to get this one but Scott doesn't love the shrimp, so he's fumbling around with it, and it gets taken from him. And Tim 
is up two points, Scott zero. For the next food drop, these guys are lined up and Tim gets it. He just likes the food more. They both tried for it. Um, Tim's just way more interested in those freeze-dried shrimp. So I want Scott to get something, so I drop another one in. Tim is so stuffed, he's back in the back. He's not even interested. He's like, I can't eat another bite. So um, Scott is up here in the front, but he's not going to go for it. It has to be brought to him. Uh, so as it turns out, one of my Tetras grabs it and brings it over to Scott. And once it's put right in front of his face, he'll go ahead and eat it. That kind of shows their personalities a little bit. Scott doesn't want to eat it unless he shot it down himself. He doesn't want me to hand it to him. Look at this video. I shot it right after that one. Scott's going to knock this shrimp off the branch. Look at that. That's so cool. Um, since he shot it down, he's happy to go grab it and eat it. So that's three for Tim and two for Scott. Let's just watch that again because it's so great. I shouldn't even be showing you this. This video is about how they miss. Um, but that's a good segue. Back three weeks ago, they couldn't hit anything. They had just barely recognized that this shrimp was food, and now it was time to make them reach outside their world. I started by putting shrimp on the glass, just getting it wet, and sticking it on there. Lo and behold, Tim starts spraying the glass with water. He couldn't hit the shrimp, mind you, but he was trying. Even close up, he still couldn't hit the thing. Archer fish are made to shoot down their food. They have a groove in the roof of their mouth and specially shaped gill flaps, allowing them to force a stream of water out their mouth, just like a squirt gun. They are born with it. What they aren't born with is the ability to direct the stream of water at the target. That has to be learned, and these guys just hadn't learned it yet. The archers show us that we all have to put effort into learning new things. They're called archer fish, and they can't even hit their targets at first. Weeks and weeks of practice were needed for Scott to be able to hit what he aims at, and he can do it. Tim can't even shoot in a straight line yet. He'll be able to. We all progress at different rates. We all have to remember not to compare ourselves at our worst to others at their best. The day will come when we can easily accomplish tasks that we once thought were impossible. I'm Jared. This is Archer Fish Tank. Reach outside your world.